What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Good morning to some out here along the West Coast. It is the Earth Master here on this Saturday, February, uh, February 12th, 2022 is the date. Uh, about 11.48 a.m. California time here. So still kind of morning out here along the West Coast. Latest quake, a uh, 2.7 earthquake up in the Alaska region. You can see that there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Also been watching quite a bit of movement here along the Northern California coastline uh, showing up on the live seismographs. Some of it being reported on the uh, USGS map, but not all of it. Let's go ahead and check out the activity they are reporting here in the Northern California region. You can see that uh, activity stretching out there towards the Gorda Escarpment just off the coast of Eureka here, southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, station I monitor called Mendocino. Uh, seismograph here sits within this region of Eureka. I've been watching quite a few spikes over the morning. Uh, very distinct earthquakes not showing up here on the USGS map, but that seems to be happening ever since the swarm of activity uh, at the uh, southern end of the Cascadia uh, well over a month ago now. Uh, seems as though they just kind of pick one out of every 10 or 15 earthquakes to post up here on the map, which I find pretty strange. Also Yellowstone having a significant swarm uh, early this morning, not being picked up by the USGS either. Uh, I just, I, I get it, it's the weekend, but where's the uh, preliminary earthquake um, systems? You know, are they only setting 3.0 and above, 3.5 and above? Who knows? Let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone here real quick on the map. Uh, let me go to the Yellowstone uh, overview here. Pretty cool little site called uh, is this thing on .org. Uh, Yellowstone and then the uh, day thumbs here. Kind of gives you a cool overhead look at uh, each individual uh, station here in Yellowstone National Park. Lake Yellowstone sits over here, Wyoming, of course, and the Yellowstone Caldera in the black outline. So anyway, uh, yeah, quite a bit of swarming kicking up here. It seems like this thing always wants to uh, ramp up when I talk about it. Uh, last night I was talking about how quiet it is here at Yellowstone, and sure enough, seems like uh, almost immediately after my update video, we got a pretty significant swarm. This here is the Yellowstone uh, station called Old Faithful. Of course, a lot of us know Old Faithful guys are there. Been there uh, a time myself, about a year or so ago. Beautiful area, but uh, too too many people. It's like driving in a big city. Uh, so Got to go up there in the winter time, I guess. Um, so yeah, a lot of earthquake activity ramping up here at uh, Old Faithful. That appears to be where the brunt of the activity is, as far as the epicenter region goes. Uh, when we look at the other maps here, we kind of get rid of all these, the spiky ones, the really small spiky ones, but those are still earthquakes. That's still a lot of earthquake activity ramping up here in the Yellowstone, uh, in the uh, Old Faithful area. I'm probably guessing well over 100 or so, maybe even more earthquakes uh, within a very short time period. It looks like it kind of ramped up here late last night and then lasting through the majority of the night into the morning. Uh, and then over the past few hours, things just kind of tapering off a little bit. But uh, pretty significant swarm. Every single one of these spikes here, an earthquake, as uh, far as that localized station goes, when you get away from the area, get away from the epicenter, only the larger ones tend to show up. And they're showing up, no doubt, uh, on stations down here around the Pitchstone Plateau as well. Here's all the earthquakes. Can't see all the other little ones, right? All the little thin spikes. But uh, they're definitely there at the old Faithful Geyser area. And that's not geyser related. I mean, as uh, far as the uh, earthquake showing up there. It's a little bit different signature when it comes to geyser movement. Uh, so even on this map here, this map shows a good uh, I don't know, 30, 40 earthquakes or so. I'm going to count all these other little ones here that are showing up. Uh, none of this, far as I can tell, is above... Um, I'm trying to guess. I'm, some of these may look like they're uh, around the uh, lower two magnitudes, I believe. I'm not 100% positive, but they are showing up broadly across the Yellowstone region. So that kind of tells me there that they're not just, uh, you know, little ones. There uh, could be low grade uh, magnitude or two earthquakes striking in this area. Uh, and it's centered right over, like I mentioned here, right about the center part, west center part of the Yellowstone caldera. The outline here ind indicating that uh, Yellowstone caldera region. So yeah, it. No reports from the USGS on this activity at all. None. Zip zero. Look at that. This is the all magnitudes map here too. 
And if we check out the EMSC, EMSC doesn't normally cover uh, the smaller quakes when it comes to the, uh, the states. So we kind of dependent on the USGS and sure enough, um, there you go. <laughs> oh goodness. And who knows if they'll get to him, when they'll get to him, if they'll add them. All I know is that we're having a lot of earthquake activity out here along the Northern California coast. We have been for the past few weeks. Um, like I said, ever since that earthquake struck, I uh, can't remember what it was, upper five, I believe here in this region where we've seen that migration of swarm inland into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone here, it kind of worked its way deep into the region here. Uh, ever since then, after that swarm, it just seems like the data just stopped all of a sudden. And uh, even though we've seen the uh, earthquake, ac earthquake activity kicking up on the live seismograph, live seismographs don't lie. Yes, sometimes they pick up interference, sometimes they pick up weather, sometimes they pick up, um, you know, machinery and whatnot uh, in nearby. But this is earthquake activity 100% uh, there at the Yellowstone um, National Park Super Volcano. Uh, yeah, I'm just, well, we're going to watch it. I, I don't believe I have a Yellowstone uh, seismograph up on the live stream, but uh, we'll, we'll re-add that because it looks like uh, it's needed at the moment. So the earthquake activity here, at least, that they are reporting, 3.0, 3.4 movement out here along the uh, southern end of the Gorda Plate, kind of around the, uh, yeah, the southern end of the Gorda Plate and the Pacific Plate boundary here. See that line indicating that uh, said boundary. So movement also over here in the uh, Mendocino Triple Point Junction, kind of where the, uh, uh, Cascadia subduction zone forms. There's some deeper earthquake activity here as well, uh, inland, but down dip at uh, 17, 18 kilometers below the surface. There's so a pretty uh, deep movement once again in that region. But like I said, and I keep saying that there's still a lot more activity here not being reported, and I'm not for sure why uh, they're failing to report it. Bay Area, of course, we had that uh, 3.0 along the Hayward Fault Zone. That earthquake activity only, the only one. Um, over the last 24 hours, we haven't seen any further movement in this region. Looks like there was, a, at least a few hours later, a little earthquake here off of the Hayward Fault onto the southern end of the Calaveras Fault Zone, looks like, uh, with a 1.0 at uh, 10 kilometers below the surface. And uh, Southern California, not a whole lot going on. There's some earthquake activity along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. This uh, pretty lengthy fault system here kind of almost runs into the... Uh, into the uh, Imperial Fault down here. Just older earthquake activity from uh, late last night and earlier this morning, it looks like. Nothing within the last hour, so re no red circles there showing up on the map. Uh, lost the Intermountain West Regional Earthquake. We don't, or earthquakes here. We normally see a little bit of movement up here through Utah and uh, Cedar, Utah area, up into the Wyoming area, but uh, things kind of dying off there at, at the moment in the Intermountain West, aside from that uh, major activity last uh, l last night there early this morning in Yellowstone. Not major activity, but it's a it's a pretty good swarm in a, in a short amount of time. Mount St. Helens, some activity from yesterday there. Once again, nothing uh, significant today taking place. We're still kind of watching that region there of the Cascades, uh, eastern part of the country. Uh, Oklahoma and Kansas region, a little bit of activity in, in the uh, oil fields, I believe. And uh, up here around Maine, had a 2.4, five kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. Felt by, it uh, looks like a few folks did report some uh, light shaking around the vicinity of the epicenter there in Maine. Uh, nothing uh, significant, but, uh, you know, I'm sure it's a little eye-opener there to feel a little earthquake in the morning. Or if you're going to bed in Maine, of all places. Puerto Rico, things kind of seem to be tapering off here a little bit as well. I've been watching a pretty good swarm of movement along the southwest region here in Puerto Rico. One little lone 3.8 up here along the Puerto Rico Trench. The rest of the Caribbean looks pretty quiet. As far as 4.0 and above, says the USGS and the Peru Chile Trench, showing no activity at the moment on that uh, area. Uh, ramping up here, once again, looks like along the Aleutian Trench and the... A volcano over here looks like Davidoff Volcano. Some very shallow movement here at uh, that volcano. And some activity also here around other regions of the Aleutian Islands. 
and uh, the Fox Islands over here. Lucian Trench uh, seen some deeper movement as well with a 4.0. That's that one that struck last night, 43 kilometers. And uh, some activity up inland into Alaska, through the Cook Inlet, up through Denali, it looks like. Right around the Alaska Range, beautiful area up there, no doubt. And some movement up around Fairbanks. Nothing significant, but definitely an increase in microquakes in that region over the last few days. Uh, southeast flank here along the Big Island, pretty active within the last hour with quite a few red circles there on the map. Quite a few twos and whatnot down there around the 30 kilometer depth there. Also, Kilauea has shown a little bit of movement right at the crater region with a uh, very small, well, not very small, but a 2.7 earthquake. Pretty deep, though, 13.1 kilometers. That was from last night. And Mauna Loa still showing a little bit of spotty activity uh, towards the surface there with a couple uh, earthquakes in that region. This one was from last night, a 2.0, well onto the north end of the big island See what else we got here. A little bit of movement ramping up once again around the Tonga area. When we did the update last night, this area was quiet, completely quiet. And uh, kind of kicked up right after the end of our uh, update video in a big way. Seeing uh, quite a bit of deep movement here. 4.4 Fiji Islands and quite a, quite a few uh, other deep movement earthquakes here around the Tonga region. Stirring things up uh, in the area of the Tonga Trench. Uh, Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands all seen some activity as well kicking up. I think there's a, a good chance we could see some further large-scale movement within this region uh, over the next 24 hours or so. We'll watch that pretty closely. Uh, with all that deep activity, it's uh, bound to happen. Taiwan, swarming has uh, kind of dropped off a little bit. We did see some uh, some significant swarming up here just off the coast with quite a few fours and fives. Uh, in that area of the world, but uh, over the last 24 hours, kind of dropped down a little bit, just to one 4.5 earthquake in that region. Mariana Trench, Japan Trench, Kuril Kamchaka Trench, the ex very quiet zones today. Um, a lot of times these deeper earthquakes up here not only trigger surface uh, regional quakes here in this area, but remember this Pacific Plate is huge, so we get some deeper movement down here. I think we're tightening things up here in this area. Uh, along these trenches, so we got to watch that uh, region pretty closely. Uh, not a whole lot going on further west here. One little earthquake outside of Afghanistan with a 121 kilometer depth uh, uh, four pointer up there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Not a whole lot going on in the trimmer map either last night. It was pretty quiet. Zero epicenters of trimmer. We did see some further activity on the sun with a M flare kicking off. Reached a uh, M1.4. Looks like uh, earlier this morning. Reaching up there into the M category. And almost another one there. A little long duration it looks like. Almost an uh, almost M there. It looks like or an upper C. This one here kind of produced a uh, long duration flare it looks like with a CME. There's still geomagnetic forecast uh, storming here for the, for the forecast over the next few days. So look uh, for that in the higher latitudes. Sea flare still sits at 70 and a 15% chance of an M flare. I'd say that's uh, kind of up there for sure. Uh, let's see. Solar activity reached moderate levels earlier today with an M1.4 solar flare observed around 2939. Now turning onto the western limb, it appears that a CME was produced but should be directed mostly away from Earth. You can see that beauty right there from the departing sunspot. Earth side of the sun. Let's see if we can get this to kick up. Uh, only potential we have right now, at least Earth side, is the 2941 area. And it looks like 2946 is growing a little bit. We'll see how that does in the uh, coming days. So, All right, folks. Um, have a great day out there. Enjoy the weekend. There's continued earthquake activity there on the Mendocino Station. Nothing big, but it still looks like some swarming kicking up there. Uh, those live seismographs should be... Uh, uh, pretty flat, but those are uh, some definitely smaller earthquakes kicking up in the uh, vicinity of Northern California. And sometimes we get these flatlining uh, the seismographs here. About an hour or so ago, we've seen that uh, happen. And uh, nope, no earthquake being reported there in the uh, Northern California area. So it is what it is. Just got to go with the flow. And uh, you know, I don't know if these guys are don't want to scare monger people or or fear monger people, but live data. When there's earthquake activity showing up on these stations. They should definitely be reported. I think we need to know about it. 
and uh, it's just not uh, being uh, reported there. Some of it is, some of it's not. Look at Yellowstone, none of it is. Of course, that's 2.5 and above on the map. But we've seen the all magnitudes and not one peep of an earthquake showing up on the USGS map. But they'll get to it, right? They'll get to it. All right, guys, enjoy your Saturday. I'm going to get outside and enjoy the uh, weather again. It's supposed to be almost 80 out here in Northern California. I guess I guess I got to enjoy it. I mean, I'd rather have rain, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. Have a good day, folks. Chat at you guys a little bit later. Peace out.